Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. This is a self-improvement channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about the first day um, of Coast Guard Boot Camp when you finally ship out, okay? And um, as usual, it's going to be a one take because that's just how I do things, all right? And um, yeah, let's begin. Okay, so I'm from Northern Virginia, as I've stated in, in other vlogs, and um, so the closest recruiting Coast Guard recruiting office to me was uh, the Washington DC um, Coast Guard recruiting station and on the day of me shipping off to for Coast Guard boot camp um, my recruiter told me to arrive at arrive in DC at the Coast Guard recruiting station so I finally arrived there and my situation was kind of different because when I finally arrived there um, that same day I was going to um, swear in um, because so I was prior army and um, they couldn't swear me in before my ship off day I don't even remember the reasons there was complications with it but I wasn't allowed to be sworn in yet so they decided to swear me in the day of so it was a pretty cool moment for me um, swearing in and to the Coast Guard so I swore into the Coast Guard and then fi we fast forward, we hopped in a government vehicle. My recruiter drove me to the Philadelphia International Airport and that's where all recruits are going to be headed to, are going to be headed to. Um, some are flying into that airport and some are driving like I did. I drew, it was a three and a half, four hour drive. I finally get there and then they send you to the USO. The USO is the United Service Organization, and what the what the what the USO basically is 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 a clubhouse for military personnel um, and and veterans and their for and their families as well. So most internet most the major um, international airports in the United States, I think all of them have a USO. So that's just another perk of joining the military. And when I say it's a clubhouse, they accommodate you with food, um, with a bed, with games, um, like entertainment, uh, video games, a TV, Wi-Fi, computer, um, drinks, right? So, like I said, just a cool little perk that you get uh, for serving your country. Now the people that, that work in the USO are usually volunteers. Um, they're also usually um, ex-military themselves, all right? Um, when you get there, you're going to, a lot of the other people that you're gonna see there already are going to, a lot of them are gonna, already, are gonna be um, recruits that are, going to, that are going to go through boot camp with you. So, I, I mean, my advice, I mean, talk to each other. I mean, get to know each other and um, yeah. Uh, I remember when I was, when I got to the USO, it was, I felt like everyone was really shy and um, just didn't want to step on anybody's toes and just kept to themselves. I spent that time, I, that opportunity to study my helmsman because that's something that you're going to be bringing with you. Um, before you go to Cape May, so I had, so I had my helmsman. I was just I just studied the whole time. I didn't play any video games. I didn't go on the computer or anything. Um, and you're going to be um, at the USO in the air in the Philadelphia International Airport for a while. So just expect that. Um, I think I waited three four hours. I think I believe so before they finally called us to line up. Uh, get all of our stuff and um, It was time to board the bus that was gonna take us to Cape May, New Jersey so I remember we put all of our bags in a 
all the stuff that we we were told our personal items that we were told to bring um, and we put them in the storage compartment of the bus all of us board the bus I remember the bus ride was pretty enjoyable all of us were super excited and just ready to go and get this thing started ready to, to make it to Cape May New Jersey so it's just really an exciting feeling that that everyone was feeling um, once we uh, once we arrived to Cape May, New Jersey, that feeling of excitement increased dramatically. Um, everyone was like, "Holy crap!" It were, it's it, you know the time has come. So now it, that that excitement starting to turn into anxiousness, starting to feel a little anxious, right? So when you finally pull up into the building, into the building, I now know. Um, I didn't know then, but now. Um, I know was is uh, Sexton Hall, and it's a famous building. That's where all the new recruits will stay um, until they they um, meet their um, company commanders. All right, and uh, because that first few days, the company commanders that are going to be um, doing the yelling and telling you what to do, and I guess guiding you through the the paperwork process and stuff those aren't your those aren't going to be the company commanders that are going to be with you f for the full eight weeks those are just temporary company commanders and their sole job is just to get you processed in um and to yeah processed in and, and ready to go to to begin coast guard boot camp training all right and let's see I remember when we first arrived there, I looked out the window, it was dark, it was nighttime by then. Um, I remember I looked out the window and I could see there were yellow footprints in front of Sexton Hall. And these footprints were placed there in rows for new recruits for, for us, for us when we were arriving. So we knew where to stand and, and make a proper formation. So I also remember seeing um, three company commanders, their feet were about a foot uh, apart, uh, all of them, they're all, uh, they have their hands in front of them, um, and like together, they had their hands together in front of them, and they were looking down, they had the famous hats on, and they're looking down like this, and I remember one company commander rushing onto the bus, and that's when it got super quiet on the bus, everyone perked up. And um, basically he's yelling at us and he's telling us that he's counting down, telling us to get all of our stuff out of the storage compartments of the bus and to look for our bags and stand on one of the yellow footprints. So um, I just remember everyone running in a panic. Um, it's complete chaos. And yeah, so Fast forward, everyone got all their stuff. Everyone was standing on the, the yellow footprints. And then in, from row, uh, from the first row to the second row to the third row, everyone follows the person in front of them. And then um, you're going up the stairwell. You go into like this classroom-like setting and you have to go all the way down to the very, very front. And then you take that right and um, you stand in front of a seat. So it's row by row by row, you stand in front of a seat. And basically this, what's gonna happen then is um, you're just gonna experience a lot, a lot of yelling, screaming, cussing. I mean, just chaos. And these company commanders are, in that, in that moment, are teaching you things that you're gonna need to know um, during training, for instance, they're gonna tell you. <sighs> trying to, <laughs> they're they're gonna basically gonna. It's gonna show you to be very very um, attentive, uh, attention to detail. You're gonna find out very very soon that att attention to detail is so important during Coast Guard boot camp. Um, and you're gonna find out what happens to those that aren't paying attention and just don't listen. 
um, you're gonna see people being yelled at and you're immediately gonna feel, I don't wanna be that guy. So I hope I'm doing everything right at this very moment. And I know for a fact, this is just a quick overview, overview um, of what that first day is like when you finally arrive to Cape May, New Jersey. But I know for a fact, for most people, they get, once they assign you your rack at the end of the night, and it's time to go to bed, lights out, you're gonna think to yourself, holy crap, what have I gotten myself into? I don't know if I can do this. You're, what I'm trying to say, you're immediately gonna have doubts about the decision to join the Coast Guard. And I just want you to know that it's absolutely normal. Um, I don't think there was one person in, in that whole room um, that didn't wasn't thinking that okay and I just I would love to say I'd love to say that it's gonna get easier but it won't it's just gonna get more stressful but what I want what I want you to take from this video is to know that it's supposed to be like that it's not supposed to be easier it's supposed to be stressful it's supposed to be difficult um, so that's why that's why I say make it easier on yourself and arrive to Coast Guard boot camp already knowing that in your mind this is gonna suck. This is this is not gonna be this is not I'm not here to play around. Um, arrive there prepared um, with knowing how to talk and and I tell I talk about that in my other vlogs. Knowing your required knowledge and I talk about that in my other vlogs. Um, and attention to detail, all right? Um, maintain your military bearing. And um, if you just do what you're supposed to do at all times and you know how to talk correctly in the right manner and you know required knowledge, you're gonna succeed in Coast Guard Boot Camp, okay? They, you're gonna be, you're gonna do just fine. and. I say this in, in other videos, if I made it, you're gonna make it because I've struggled a lot with um, learning how to talk. It, it took me a few weeks to finally get that down um, and knowing my required knowledge, it was, it was difficult. But I put in the work, I studied really, really hard and I, and I accomplished what I set out to do. And I graduated and you will too. So that concludes this video. My battery's about to die. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please, please give, give this video a thumbs up. Please um, a comment on this video. Please share this video. Um, and uh, as always, please subscribe to my channel, The Andre Lifestyle. And also, as always, live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace.